know I've stumbled different times. Lots of, lots of the stumbles that I have done is my attitude. Sometimes I have gotten Often the lessons go back to I didn't trust him. I've gotten my eyes off of Jesus. I've gotten my eyes on the problem. I'm looking at the wind. I'm looking at the waves. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at that. When they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. And those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. I want to go back to this one. I did again. There is always a change in life. There are always lessons. There are always stumbles. But in this walk with God, there's always a changed life. This guy wanted to walk with Jesus. This was the rich young ruler. He's, and Jesus said to them, One thing you lack, go sell everything you have and give to the poor, then come follow me. And at this the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. Those who say yes to God's call don't walk the walk perfectly, not by a long shot, but because they say yes to God, they learn and grow even from their failures, and they become part of his actions to redeem the world. Those who say no are changed too. They become a little harder, a little more resistant to his calling, a little more likely to say no to the next time. How have your yeses and noes to Jesus changed you? Because each of us has a series of yeses and noes. There are things that we have said yes to and things, no matter what, we're still changed because of that. So where are you? This is the last of them. Where are you? Which one of these do you identify with? Maybe several of them. Number one, I need to face the fact that I'm comfortable when I vote, but doing so is denying God's plan for my life. Number two, my fears and my doubts are controlling my walk with God. Number three, I need to hear God's voice, but I'm too distracted by the wind and the waves of life. Number four, I'm still kicking myself because of my stumbling. I need to learn from it, let it go, and go on in God. Number five, I really don't know God. It's time to get serious about my relationship with Him. And number six, I need to get back in the game and start walking with God again. So which one of these do you identify with? Let's break into our groups again and then pray.